In early March 2010, the 57 Nordhaven trawler No Plans arrived in Belize after a trip down from Florida. She stopped at Cucumber Beach Marina, just five miles east of the capital, Belize City. Cucumber is the only usable marina in Belize. With No Plans' six foot three inch draft, she barely got in at high tide and only because they had recently dredged. That's her, nested amongst the shallow draft catamarans in the lower left. The crew hired Levi, a local cabbie, to drive them around. That's him with his son. Belize City, the largest city in the small nation, has a tiny population, yet it's congested and noisy at its heart. It's not a place you want to get out and wander around in. They did stop at the mouth of the Belize River, near the center of what had been British government. Next door, they also checked out the marina at the Fort George Radisson. It's a dilapidated wooden pier sticking out into the unprotected and shallow waters of the bay. Today the trade wind is blowing from its customary direction, and you can see why they chose the much more protected Cucumber Beach Look at those boats jump around in the swell. A little farther down the road is the Princess Casino Marina. Not much better here. You have to be careful on the docks because of the rotten planks. It wouldn't be far to walk, however, to go gambling. On the road out of town toward the airport, they stopped to check out the shipyard and chandlery of Duke Marine, an American-owned and operated facility. In the store, they um, stopped to talk to the I'm clerks. I'm recording them right now. <laughs> so I'm going to record you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this right here? I'm Charmaine. You're Charmaine, and who is this? Shari. Shari. Well, very pleased to meet you. I'm John. Okay. <laughs> On the way back into town, they stopped at a vegetable stand next to the busy highway. Though English is the predominant language, Spanish is widely spoken as well as with the owners of this stand. The size of these. While loading produce onto the boat, after we got back, Levi drops his keys in the water, but a big magnet on a string helped retrieve them. After a few days in Belize, it's time to take our big canoe back out and explore the outer caves of Belize's barrier reef.